Okay, now look at this question. Is the work done by the gas in process ACB? Okay, process ACB. Uh, this one, ACB. Uh, is greater than or less than or equal? You should write something. Is it greater than or is it less than or is it equal uh, to the work done in the isothermal process AB? Uh, this one, this is isothermal. Ah, okay. Maybe we write it down first. Uh, this one is isothermal. Uh, yeah. Actually, this is isothermal expansion. Isothermal expansion because the volume increase. Yeah. The volume, the volume increase. This one also volume increase yeah, for B. So okay, look at uh look at this one. Uh, for for this uh, graph B graph B, AC process AC just now. Okay, uh, wait. Question uh, graph A isothermal expansion from A to B. Yeah, isothermal expansion. For graph B is expansion from A to B A to B through isovolumetric process AC. Okay, isovolumetric is also called isochoric. Uh, isochoric means constant volume. So as you can see, AC is a constant volume at V1. Uh, constant volume at V1. So this is a isochoric process. AC. Okay? Uh, so and then from CB, CB is a isobaric uh, constant pressure. You see that? Constant pressure at P2 is isobaric. Uh, in fact, this isobaric expansion also, yeah, isobaric expansion because volume increase. Okay, isobaric expansion. So this one isothermal, yeah, on the same isotherm line, isothermal. This one is isochoric and isobaric. You must always uh refer to the 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 arrow. The, this arrow is important. Yeah, that means where it goes. Ah, always refer to the arrow. Eh? The arrow here and the arrow here. Ah, that means uh, the first process it follow this curve line. Yeah, you must follow the arrow. Ah, yeah. Uh, for second graph, it follow this arrow. It doesn't follow this curve line. So you must always pay attention to the arrow. Eh? The arrow shows where it goes. It doesn't go through the curve line. Yeah, it doesn't go through the curve line. It go this vertical line and horizontal line. So please mark that down. Okay, so uh yeah, it go through this one. Uh, and then this one. Understand? Go through this this one. So now the question asks for what? The ask for the uh ask for the work done by the gas. Uh yeah. Actually, uh, why he say by the gas? Uh, why he say by the gas? Uh, because expansion, these two are expansion. Uh, the gas do work. Push the piston up. Yeah? Uh, like this one. Uh, yeah? Work done by the gas. Uh, expansion, volume increase. Uh, indeed, these two are expansion, volume increase. Uh, so that's why it work done by the gas. Work done by the gas is expansion. Uh, Expansion. Okay. Uh, right. So uh, now he asks, is it the uh, process ACB for the graph B? Yeah. Uh, greater, less than, or equal to the isothermal process. Uh, this isothermal process is uh, is uh, graph A lah. Huh? Is it graph? This is graph B. Is it the B bigger or less than or equal to A? Is this B bigger or equal or less than than A? Ah, so he's talking about the work done. So work done. How to identify work done from PV graph, pressure volume graph? Ah, work done is area under the graph work done is area under pressure volume graph work done is area under pv graph okay and you must 
always below the area must always follow the arrow uh, and always below the arrow line okay so like uh, graph a uh, the, the area the work done work done is you know i just write it down first uh, work done work done is area under pressure volume graph so so uh, let's look at the isothermal process uh, if for this process follow this curve line because the arrow is over here so the the area under the graph is uh, area area below the curve line let's highlight it yeah uh, but for this um, for the graph B, uh, the, the graph uh, it follows this uh, isochoric and isobaric. Uh, it follows this vertical and horizontal line. It doesn't follow. You see the arrow doesn't follow the curve line. So the area is only only below the arrow. Only below the arrow. Okay. So we can say isochoric process has no work done. Isovolume isovolumetric process AC has no work done. Because no area under the graph. Understand? But isobaric process has the area under the graph. Uh, so, uh, what color should I put? Maybe I put this color. Uh, yeah. So, uh, this, is the, this is the area only. Understand? Uh, so, only this area. Uh, so, uh, isochoric process has no work done. Yeah, go back to our concept. Uh, isochoric process. Isochoric process, constant volume. Constant volume has zero work done because no area under PV graph. Uh, but isobaric process has the area of a rectangle shape. See that? Isobaric constant pressure has the work done of as the area of a rectangular shape. But isochoric process. Isochoric process, constant volume, has no work done, zero work done, because no area. So, I want to ask you, uh, is this area bigger than this area? Or is it less than this area? Or is it equal? Uh, we can just look at here and we can see already. Okay? So, we can say uh, the, the pink color <laughs> is less than the what? The... Uh, blue color, isn't it? The blue area. <laughs> okay, so uh, put that in words. So we can say uh, the work done, the work done uh, for process uh, for graph B. Uh, we can write it as uh, maybe you can write it as uh, you know, this is uh, actually work done. Uh, this work done AB. Uh, this work done for graph B. Is like uh, work done A C B. You understand? Uh, work done A C B. Uh, and then work done for A. Uh, right over like here. Okay. Here. Like that. Yeah. Maybe I should write like this. Uh, this work done A. Work done for A is work done A B. Uh, okay. Work done B is work done A, C, B. Ah, like that. Yeah? Ah, so we can say, uh, because uh, we can say what? We can say, uh, 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 work done, work done for, uh, for, for A is more than work done for B. Or we can say work done for A, B is more than Work done for A, C, B. Uh, why? Because the area, the area of the PV, the area for PV graph of uh, AB is more than area under PV of A, C, B. Uh, okay? Uh, I think that's it. I think that's the explanation. Okay, but put it in words lah. Huh? Here, I just show you the idea. 
Uh, so you when you answer the exam question, you put all this in words, yeah, in sentences. Uh, you put all this in sentences. Okay? Uh, write a complete sentence rather than just like this. Okay, so work done A is more than, or we can say work done B is less than work done A because the area under the PV graph is less than the area under the, the isothermal process. Okay, less than the A. This is, this is the AB is the A, this is the area under the graph B. Okay, so, uh, so the answer is uh, less than lah. Uh, yeah, the answer is less less than the the B is less than A. Uh, yeah, B B B is less than A. Okay, uh, so that's all for this question. Bye.